Deb Bourbeau has owned this home in Hampton for eight years. Her backyard is the marsh. When the high tides come in, it just takes over our street and we have oceanfront property. She says she worries about safety, sanitation and damage. We just had part of our foundation replaced this past spring, uh, 60 blocks, which was about $4,600. So there is a lot of damage that can happen. Uh, and I'm sure it's only going to get worse, unfortunately. A new study done by the Union of Concerned Scientists, an organization that in part advocates for combating global warming, says that tidal flooding will begin to increase due to rising sea levels. Most importantly now is we're beginning to see the Greenland ice sheet and the West Antarctic ice sheet begin to increase the flux of land-based ice into the ocean. They're flowing much faster. They're dumping way more icebergs into the ocean. Changes researchers say they've never seen before. We've seen slow, steady sea level rise but we expect the rate of sea level rise to increase significantly, resulting in much more tidal flooding. According to their study, by 2045, 2,000 homes in New Hampshire will be at risk because of tidal flooding. That number jumps to 5,000 by 2100. Properties worth more than $2 billion. Hampton officials say there are things homeowners can do in the meantime. There can be small projects like installing flood vents. Um, there can be bigger projects that involve elevating their structure. Um, but the good thing is there's certainly lots of options out there that they can do to protect their structure from flooding. And Hampton officials say people can go into town hall at any time to discuss those concerns. We're live in Hampton tonight. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.